Hey y'all, today we're going to be working on this smoky bat look. I just love the way this looks so much. I've done mine in gel, but that's because I already did it previously to wanting to film this. So you can totally do this with regular polish. But I am starting with my pink acrylic base, which is Rosebud from Young Nails. But you can use any pink nail polish you have as a base. Just a sheer beautiful pink. And I'm going to be using my Gelixer base coat and Gelixer Black and Gelixer Top Coat for this, but you use any of yours, and a Wet n Wild Black Polish for our stampin'. This is the plate I'm gonna be using from the Born Pretty Store. I've had this for forever, but I'll link it below. We're using these little bats. I'm gonna start by placing my base coat on. Now for me, I have to cure this in the light because it's gel, but if you're using regular polish, then that's all you need to do is apply your base. So I have to wipe the sticky off because um, it's easier to apply a stamp when the gel is not sticky. So here we go. This is my stamper. Uh, it's a mess. I need to get a new one. So please just disregard the filth on it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to place the black polish onto the bats. And then I'm going to scrape that towards me. And then I'm going to pick it up with my stamper. And there's your little bats. If you get anything else on the stamper, just use a little mini lint roller that I get from the Dollar Tree. And just take off anything on the stamper that you're not going to be putting on your nail. Because it'll make cleanup so much faster and easier for you. And I'm just going to place that over my nail. Find a spot that I like. And then I'm going to just stamp that right on there. And you can see through there, again, sorry, my stamper is messy, I'll try to clean it, <laughs> and I need to get a new one. So there's your little bats. We're going to repeat the process because we want more than just the three bats on the nails. We kind of want to cover the whole nail. You don't have to, but that's your own preference. Again, take off anything on the stamper you're not going to be using. And then find a spot where you want it. You can do them different angles however you want. I did mine all different, just kind of slapped them on there. And there you go. And it's okay if there's empty spots, we like that. Uh, the finished look is great. So we're going to take the black gel polish and place just a few dots anywhere on the nail. You can do this with regular black polish and just use acetone for this, but I'm going to be using my gel cleanser to do this and I'm going to take a brush and soak it in gel cleanser and just kind of spread that polish out and make it thin and just random I mean this is so random there's no trick to this just water it down and random it out and you can do that with the acetone and regular polish as well but um, be careful because it is going to mess up the bats I just realized that so maybe use some alcohol or some water to thin out your regular polish and there is the finished look for that. I have to cure mine for 30 seconds and then go in with my top coat. And I'm just going to place that top coat right on there. Get it all nice and smooth and beautiful. Make sure you cap your ends. And I'm going to cure that again. But if you have regular top coat, that's it. And that's it. I hope you guys like this design. I really loved the way these turned out. I love the pink background and everything as well. Super easy. Um, I'm so excited to be back. Just a lot of things have been going on. I got married and had a wonderful, beautiful baby boy. So um, if you don't, follow me on Instagram at Mags Roland. I'll link it down below. Um, thanks so much for sticking around, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be back with more Halloween designs. Bye!